We are going to build a doomsday vault on the moon. How? Well, we'll figure that out as soon as we go. When? Nobody knows. But we are going to do it, and we'll be telling you the reasons right now. Welcome to Super Freaky Science, and get ready for things are about to get very super and extremely freaky. The long and short of it is that we are trying to take a bunch of things that are important to us right now, like DNA samples, frozen eggs and sperm, put them in a vault and place them on the moon. To understand why we're doing this, what benefit it could be to us, and why we have this sudden need to make sure this gets done, we first have to understand the logic behind vaults like this. Because even if we do manage to build the Doomsday Vault on the moon, it wouldn't be the first one, and it would certainly not be the last. The Logic of Doomsday Vaults So where do we start? Yeah, the Doomsday Vault on the Moon. How did we get here? Why are we planning for a Doomsday Event and why are we trying to build a vault on the Moon? The first thing to understand is that Doomsday Vaults aren't exactly new. We already have one here on Earth. In 2019, the Norwegian government revealed that it had funded a secret Doomsday Vault proposed by a US scientist named Kurt Fowler. The project was called the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, and it was a secure seed bank on the Norwegian island of Spitbergen, near Longyearbyen, approximately 810 miles from the North Pole. The idea behind this particular doomsday vault is that the world can go through global or regional crises at any time, and when this happens, we want to have a safe vault where we can easily retrieve things that are important to us. This vault in particular is for seeds. That's why it's filled with a wide variety of plant seeds that are duplicate samples or spare copies of seeds held in gene banks worldwide. The main reason of the vault is to provide a safety net against accidental loss of diversity in traditional gene banks. Of course, it's more sensible to assume that the vaults exist because of the possibility of a worldwide catastrophe. But it is mostly used as a backup of the traditional gene banks that exist throughout the world. But enough about seeds. Let's check out why we may have built a doomsday vault. Not on Earth, but on the Moon. The Moon Vault According to researchers at the University of Arizona, we need a Moon Ark to safely store frozen eggs, sperm and other DNA matter from all 6.7 million Earth species. These researchers made this known at the IEEE Aerospace Conference, where they touted the Moon Ark as an insurance policy for our species. So what will this doomsday vault on the moon look like? It surely can't be a huge black box that will be dropped on the surface of the moon. Or can it? According to the researchers in the know, the vault will be built in the moon's lava tubes and will be staffed by robots. Power will be provided by solar panels on the moon's surface, and every single country on Earth would have to put up funds to move the project forward. The researchers who proposed the moon's vault said it's important that mankind build the vault because of the different challenges we face today. And it's difficult to disagree with them. There's always a very real threat of nuclear war, rapid climate change can also destroy our civilization, and we could experience an ice age. After all, it's not like it hasn't happened before. While these threats are all tenable, the most important threat that spurred this attempt to build a moon vault is a devastating volcanic eruption. According to Jack and Thanga, the professor of aerospace and mechanical engineering, the Earth is naturally a volatile environment. That is, a lot of crazy things happen with a twinkle of an eye. We had a close brush with one of those crazy things about 75,000 years ago. The crazy thing was a Toba supervolcanic eruption, which caused a 1,000-year cooling period and, according to some, aligned with an estimated drop in human diversity. If that were to happen again, it could lead to the destruction of all life on Earth, and if that happens, we would be very glad if we had a moon vault. Now, 
for our wager. We'll tell you a super freaky science fact right now. If you've not heard it before, you have to smash the like and subscribe buttons. If you have, well, you still have to do it anyway. Deal? Deal. Every creature on Earth, from octopus to tardigrade to spiders, they are genetically related to us in some way or another. That's freaky, isn't it? Let's move on. Is it possible? The idea of a doomsday vault is nice, but like all nice ideas, the important question is whether it is possible, not whether it's nice. According to the researchers, the project is heavily dependent on advancements in cryorobotic technology. The seeds must be preserved at negative 144 degrees Celsius, and stem cells have to be stored at negative 160 degrees Celsius. The problem is that at such temperatures, metal parts of the base could freeze, jam, or cold weld together. Additionally, scientists aren't sure how a lack of gravity would affect seeds. The important thing, though, is that this research was presented just days after Russia and China announced plans to build a lunar space station. If all goes well, the 21st century will see increased space exploration, and maybe even space colonization. And if that happens, we're sure to see some attempts to build a doomsday vault on the moon. But will it be successful? We just can't say for sure. That's it guys, if you loved this video make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and always remember to stay super, leave the freaky part to us.